you want to lead us in that? <laughs> yeah. No, we're not doing that. And so in this video, we, we're not going to compare them necessarily. They're, they're not necessarily competitors. We're not going to declare a winner because they are, they have different applications. Rugged is rugged race radios and Cardo is simply communication. Yeah. Um, so Cardo, I would say they're most popular in street bikes. It they started have, in motorcycles. Yeah, yeah. Motorcycles. Use them in dirt bikes and snowmobiles and all that stuff for hel in helmet communication. Yeah, is kind so of their, we, their starting point. If we take this off. So this is a Cardo pack talk unit so it unclips from here and that's all it is that's the bluetooth communication device so that brings us to the first point this is bluetooth only yeah so yeah. you can you can take this you can have a helmet kit you can move this from from headset to helmets to right whatever so yeah it's high use if yeah. you have a dirt bike a street bike a snowmobile and a side by side this one unit Yep. can work on all four you, you can order just, be... just the different mounting points yep. which you know you have a setup in your helmet you have a setup in your snowmobile helmet you have a setup in your dirt bike helmet and you just basically swap the the bluetooth unit exactly uh, the and cool then... thing about the bluetooth units on this one is that they mesh together so the more you have in a chain or in a group the better the signal will be repeated yeah so like let's front to back let's talk about that because that's kind of that that's one of the cons i guess to the did that turn off? <laughs> what we were saying is being Bluetooth, it's line of sight only. Yes. So I've been at my house talking about rugged, for example, I've been at my house down here on the other side of the lake and I've talked to people at the top of San Hollow. Right. From my driveway on my ruggeds. This, there's no way this would reach anywhere near that distance. You have to be able to see them and almost be yeah. able to yell at them. Yeah, we haven't tested the length on line of sight yet, but I mean, so what that means is if you if you crest a hill and your other buddy is behind that hill, you you lose, you lose communication for a, for a second until you go over the top and, then and you can see them again. Reconnects. It automatically right. reconnects. It's very convenient in that way, but what we were saying before we had this little technical difficulty <laughs> is that if we have three cars with three units, they each act as a repeater to re to repeat that same line of sight distance. Yes. Right. So if one of us is down the hill and we're up on top and up on top, we're all able to communicate. Yeah. Or vice versa. If you've yeah. got two guys at the bottom of the hill, mm -hmm. one at the top, because you because you have a line of sight to one, now you have line of sight to everybody. Yeah. Right. And the, and the more people you have in your group, the longer that gets. Yeah. It's up to like, I think there's a max number of units that are on one mesh network. I think Is it's it? like, okay. I thought it was in the teens. It's a, it's a high number. It's, it's a, 12. It's or, quite a few. Yeah. We'll, we'll look it up and we'll put the actual number down here because none of us are smart enough. To yeah. See at the bottom of the screen, we'll put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know that off the top of our head. But it's a, it's a big number. I mean, it's more than, it's more than 10. Yeah. Um, one thing to consider with rugged, we mentioned that they are a race radio. This this would never work for that application. You're not going to connect with a chase truck that's, you know, a few miles away. You don't have a big old antenna on your vehicle. Right. It's not all hardwired for better reception. Yeah. Um, this is more. I would say this is the convenience option. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it depends on your application, you know, um, and it depends on the group that you ride with. These do not communicate with those other types of radios because they're completely different. Bluetooth. That's a radio. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, they have channels and and things like that. So that's okay. the difference. The other the other thing is, so in rugged and in these, what you can switch between talking in car only and talking out of car. Yep. But this one defaults to talking to everybody. Mm -hmm. So, but on the app, you can create like basically Groups. subgroups. Yeah. To where it's like just people in your car, you can keep it on that, and then if you switch it you can then talk to everybody again. Yeah. And that's so, on a phone app. So yes. you, have to, you have to push the button on your phone to make it switch between groups. Yeah. Um, on the rugged, it's a push button on your steering wheel or somewhere mounted in your car, which makes it convenient for that to, to talk out of the car, mm -hmm. um, more, more so than, than on the Cardos. But if you have your phone mounted in your car and it's easily reachable or whatever, then it's easy to kind of push the button and, and switch groups. But there's that and there's there's also the consideration is do you ride with passengers or are you riding by yourself yeah for example when all three of us are riding together in separate vehicles and we don't have our families 
more often than not, we grab these even when we had the ruggeds in our vehicles, right. just from the convenience, the convenience factor. And then one thing to consider for us is we're always jumping out to film and spot right. and things like that. Not everyone rides that way, but having no wire when you jump out of the car and you can put this on and you're not having to scream to the driver of the right. car. Yeah, you know, so you can, can just talk you just normal talking. and tell them what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. So there's the convenience uh, <clears throat> factor there, but um, from a safety standpoint, I would say rugged wins on that on that end, just because if you're out just stranded range. somewhere miles away, there's a chance that you can scan through the channels and find somebody and find to hear somebody. you. Yeah. You're not going to get that with this. And it's real popular. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's so super popular. You, they connect with, so there's another brand I hear that we're not talking about. It's PCI. PCI. And they work on the same technology as, as rugged. So it's mm -hmm. kind of race a, radios. this versus that, right? Yeah. And uh, those guys can can communicate on different channels and things like that. There are other options that are a little bit more portable for the, the rugged setup. Mm -hmm. And it's a handheld device. The range isn't as far as it is with a hardwired kit in your car, mm -hmm. but it's it's another option that's doable where you wear a headset um, and you can you can key the, the handheld and still function similar to what the, the Cardo is with that extended range. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're not familiar with the race radio setup, you have two units you really have a radio and an intercom to be able to talk in car and out of car so it's two yep. units they're all wired together um install <laughs> is a negative for me it, yeah, so I mean, well yeah because this is there's no install job. with this and and there's a specific way that you need to install rugged or pci so that their antenna isn't interfering you know if you have it run with your power lines to the battery that kind of thing you're Rugged, you're not supposed to run power to like a bus bar. You're supposed to run it directly to the yeah. battery. You have to so, run your antenna separate from your power. Exactly. So there's some specifics, specifics to do it to do it right. So that's I guess that's a con. But ultimately, once you get it in, I mean, you're you're good to go. You're set. The other thing is the pro on that is you're always powered. Mm. Right. right. These you, you have, have to, to make sure you're charged and ready to go. But rugged is powered all the time. You're ready to roll at all times. Yeah. Use some mics. Been pretty good on those. They are impressive. It's decent, yeah, but yeah. it has a micro USB, and you know, most of us have a charge port in the side by side, so yeah. technically, you could charge it while you're using it, yeah, for sure, and have a wire hanging. But yeah, it it's is, real nice for you had to for when you're not in your car, if you're traveling and you're renting a car, you could still have comms with you, put these in your suitcase, and take them with you. Um, it, I mean, look, we're, we're in a demo unit yeah, right, now. Demo unit right now. We're not going to take five hours to put ruggeds in here just right. to use it for a month. Right. Yeah. So for us, these make a lot of sense. So we wanted to make this video not to just say, hey, everyone go get a Cardo. Um, although we are impressed and we, we will promote them. But and we're going to continue to use them. Yeah, yeah. the more people that are yeah. out here with those things, the better off for us. I mean, yeah. we'll, get, <laughs> we'll get repeaters yeah. up. So, <laughs> yeah, so I, I think, I mean, we've gotten to the point where we're trying to decide, like, which one do we do as the primary, right? Do you do a primary headset, have four headsets for the family, right? And then have a handheld rugged in case we mm -hmm. are rolling with a lot of people that have rugged or install rugged and basically just have one headset card for us right for for just us so it's it, i don't think it's any of us up. have really decided just yet on our new cars i we, think for me on since well when we get the other car shows up right i'll have multiple cars i'm not going to repeat that same setup mm. in in more cars where mm. this is a flexible option I can do a handheld. Can I can between. still get you know yeah. pretty decent size range with a handheld. So the other thing to think about with a handheld is I started with that when I had the Terex, and it was just a handheld, and it comes with some weird earpiece, and that didn't work well. But um, Rugged also has a headset that will connect to the handheld, and then has a push button to talk on the headset, and then you can just you know put the handheld wherever, and that actually worked really well. Yeah. The only downside to that, again, is is like this is that's battery, so you have to make sure it keeps charged. Um, but that actually worked really well. Then I could hear well with that headset. Um, and so so if you were to do one or the other, that as far as a you know mobile option for Rugged is a pretty good option, actually. I think the last thing we need to address, and it's an important thing, most of you guys are probably curious about is the cost versus this, like a four setup for these yeah. versus mm -hmm. a four setup for Rugged. Mm -hmm. Rugged ballpark, you're looking for an intercom radio, four headsets, two grand. And yeah, minimum. and minimum it's probably between two and twenty-five. Yeah, so you're you're in that range. I think you can get this whole setup, the unit and the headphones for, if I'm not mistaken, it's like three something a piece. Yeah, I think it's three to four a piece. So you're looking maybe twelve hundred bucks for 12, four. Twelve to fifteen, somewhere yeah, in there. Somewhere in there. So you're looking at a little bit of again. A cost we can savings. put yeah. We'll 
We'll do a yeah a chart. <laughs> there Eric, you go. Eric's good at charts. Like, <laughs> Spam! <laughs> snap on there. Snap them. On. Yeah. So anyway, let us know what questions you have. You know, we're just yeah. kind of spitballing our thoughts out here. We don't yeah. like writing stuff down. We're not scripted. You should probably know that by now. And um, we've had about a year with the Cardos, right? I mean, we've had both units a for. A, we've been had a year in, with each unit testing both and trying and you know figuring out what we like, what we don't like. Um, one thing for me. I like on the ruggeds where I can hear myself in the in the talk back. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Um, the Cardos don't have that feature, so I can't tell if I'm transmitting voice to, to those yeah. guys. You have to say, I, I find myself doing a lot of, hey, can you guys hear me? Am I on? Yeah, With kind the of Cardos, a mic check type thing. And I wish there was a way for it to, to funnel back into the headset so that I can know that I'm talking. You get used to it, but yeah, at first coming from rugged going to that, I right. was doing the same thing. Yeah. Yep. So just something to get used to. It's not, I don't know if it's initially a con, it's just it's something a that's it's different. It's just a preference thing. Yeah. Some people might hate it, I don't know. I like, yeah. I get, apparently I like to hear my own voice. So. <laughs> I think that's clear. Um, that's last thing, it. last thing. Okay, I said last thing last time and then we did two more. This is the last, last This thing. is the last last, 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 last one. Music quality in a rugged is not bad so because it's monotone. Mono. It's mm -hmm. not stereo sound. Whereas these use, uh, I mean, we have JBL version, of, like a stereotype version. Yeah, so this we this isn't what you're going to get now. This is kind of an original that we were testing with them, and then they've moved to this. Um, and then if you guys hear pretty soon, this is the Pack Talk Bold. Now they have the Edge, which is actually a magnetic piece right here. And they're, and they're currently working on an updated headset where I think it's going to be kind of... It, it's more so built into the earphone or the ear cover. Um, instead of being instead of just on the outside, on the outside. Yeah. plus the edge is about half as thick. Yeah. yeah, and it's got an updated version of Bluetooth. So if you guys aren't ready to buy right now, there might be something coming in the next few months. Up updated version, or updated yep. uh, full version for the specific for the headphones. So keep an eye out for that, and we'll let you guys know when we find out anything on that. So what comes in the box? Uh, but music quality on these, I believe they use JBL uh, quality speakers. So you're getting true stereo sound. And each person, if you have four of these in the car and they all have smartphones, you can all be listening to your own independent music. Right. On Rugged, it's you're choosing you're one sharing. and it's in, in monotone. Yeah. yeah, so if Eric's in his car listening to Taylor Swift, nobody else has to listen to it. And exactly. if Royce is listening to True. oonce, 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 <laughs> then we don't have to listen to it. It's you great. don't think you're going to get away with it, right? Who's coming? <laughs> That's it, guys. Let us know what questions you have. See you guys. See ya.